Don't tease her. Oh, I do know this song. <laughs> you got to. That's the only part I know. my channel this is Alexi and Nicole I'm living my life by design and I have a guest here with me Serena hello Serena tell them a little bit about yourself I am 22 this <laughs> is my first adult job I'm from small town Illinois and now I live here in New York City in New York City Queens. alrighty y'all so we're coming to y'all today with a reserve life versus line holder life <laughs> what flight attendant life is like during holiday season i'm so excited about my line serena <laughs> you want to talk about it yes let's talk about it so i mentioned it to y'all um one of the last videos that i got a line for the month of mama serena is pulling down my dress um a line for the month of december and that is because I'm going to our first class program. So I have to do some training during the month of December. So some way, somehow, the scheduling God, since I got that training, I was able to bid for a line and I was awarded a line. How many hours do you any house? I have 113 hours for the month of December. <laughs> so originally when I got the line, I was off... Um, December, the beginning of December, all the way to the day that I go to training, December 17th. And then I had some trips on my schedule for after that. When you're awarded a line, I think they give you 70 hours or more. Um, so my schedule had the 70 hours because training goes towards our hours. But I was still off the whole first two weeks, so I've been able to pick up more trips and things like that. And I've just been stalking Flicka like a crazy person. Flicka is um, our trade board and first come first serve where we can pick up trips, drop trips and things like that. I'm still getting pretty new to this whole line holder life and I really don't want to jinx it because it's not guaranteed that I'll have it for um, January. I do have another training that I have to go to but it's not as long. So hopefully I get awarded another line in January and then in February I start flying for our first class program and then I'll always have a line with um, a max of five days of reserve a month going forward. Super excited about that, y'all. So, what's your reserve schedule like for December, Serena? I have 10 days off in the beginning, like December 5th through the 14th-ish. Yeah, something like that. But then I am working all the way through the 31st with only like two days off, which is like the 20... 9th and the 21st I think and that's it and I don't know I don't know how many hours I'm gonna get I might get like 30 maybe I'll get more I don't know like this month I only have 30 hours but she's I don't know my schedule really but we have guarantee when you're on reserve so she'll still get paid for 75, 75 hours, hours. hours yeah but the main differences between line holder life and Reserve life is breaking the guarantee. It's breaking guarantee, absolutely. Well, we don't get guarantee. Reserves don't have. I mean, line holders don't have a guarantee. But still going above it. Yeah, and you also get to know where you're going, when you're going, what time you have to report to work, and Who all of those things. With, and, yeah, all of those super important things. I trained from December 17th to the 23rd in Orlando for our first class training. Then I have the um. I technically had the 24th off, and then they had me working Christmas. They gave me a um, a Denver red eye turn, so JFK to Denver red eye turn. So no layover, just go to Denver, fly back. So I wasn't about that life, y'all. And then they had, I had some other trip on there, and then for New Year's, I don't remember what it was but it was something that I didn't want so with me having a line I've been able to pick up drop and swap trips so now I got so lucky I was blessed I really consider it blessed there was a trip on the board um, for Christmas 
that has a Austin layover. You get there really early, Chris, like midnight Christmas morning, I guess, like 12.44 a.m., oh, December 25th. Yeah. And then you leave um, December 26th, like at 6 a.m. So Austin is only about a two and a half, three hour drive from Houston, which is where I'm from, where my family is, my dogs are. So I was able to pick that trip up, have that 27 hour layover. So I'm just going to drive home, spend Christmas Day home, and then drive back and finish out the rest of my trip. So really freaking excited about that because I couldn't get Christmas off, but... At least I get to be home with my family. We do have a new class coming, though, which, yeah. we, which might make the grid green for, like, a second, and yeah. some people might be able to get Christmas off. Hopefully so. That would be or New Year's, good. at least. So, she said the grid. So, there's, um, once again, on Flickr is the, the thing that we use for all scheduling purposes. Um, there's a grid that shows how many reserves they need for the day, and it's either going to be green, black, or red. Green means you're good to go. You can swap your days for other days within the month. Black means there's no, basically no movement, like it's perfect, and then red means they don't have enough people. Yeah. So what color is the grid right now for Christmas? Um, so for, let's see, the 23rd, 24th, 25th are all red, and then... New Year's is 30th and 31st are black. And the 26th is black. Oh, okay. yeah. So we have a new class coming December 8th. They graduate, so they should be here 9th, 10th, 11th. How many days is it? Four or five? That's four. Four. So they should be here by the 13th. Super exciting. Really, really exciting. It's not a lot of them. I think it's like. 37 of them in that class yeah. right now half of them have been assigned to Boston the other half has been assigned to um, here JFK. in JFK so that means we'll get like about 16 17 little junior babies underneath us which is amazing um, it's not a huge bump like we would like but, but this is the second class after us already. Yeah, but the, the first one really didn't make, like, a big dent because they came, like, two weeks after us. So, oh. it's, uh, so the whole life. point of new classes and things like that is to boost our seniority, which y'all know in this aviation world, seniority is everything. Like, you need to be, like, if she bids for something and she has higher seniority than somebody else and she gets awarded the trip. So that's why, you know, we get excited when new babies come. <laughs> Can y'all hear our jams? Like, we're jamming Christmas music. It's that time of year I'm excited. So sweet. Yes, Alexa. If you could bid for any trip for Christmas and New Year's, where would you want to go? I'd probably go Or would to... you just prefer to be off? What is What would be your dream schedule? I would love to be off and go home. But if I couldn't go home, I would fly to, what, like, L.A. Because then I can go, I could still go see family if I had, a, like, a 20-hour layover. So if you could get an L.A. trip on Christmas. Yeah, and I saw cool. a lot of LAX trips. There is and I really food. want them. <laughs> For New Year's, what would you want? Oh, you know, I know what I had New Year's. I actually had a early day turn to somewhere, and then I would have been back here. But I swapped it for something else because I want to go shopping at the Dillard sale January 1st. The Dillard sale. The Dillard sale January 1st? I don't know. Oh my god. Well, Dillard's isn't everywhere. So that's one reason why. I mean, why. I have a Dillard's. I know what the store is. I don't know about a sale. So every... Listen up, y'all. Every January 1st, mm -hmm. Dillard's has the biggest sale of its Dillard's lifetime. So, everything is already marked down. Mm -hmm. Like, everything in the store is already marked down. And then it's an additional 50% off. I lose my mind every freaking January 1st. <laughs> Forget going out New Year's Eve and popping bottles. I am sleeping because I have to get up and go stand at the door like this. And bang on the glass door for them to let us in. <laughs> And I buy, like, I buy, I buy everything. Everything. I, if y'all have a Dillard's wherever you live and you don't know about that sale, I'm telling you, it's not a sale to miss. Big department store. Dillard's is very comparable to um, 
Macy's. Like, they basically sell all the same stuff. So, if you have been wanting something forever, I'm telling you, go get it. And if you don't have a Dillard's where you live, go to Dillard's.com because the sale is available online, too. Well, I'll do online shopping for yeah. sure. Yeah. I used to work there. That's why I know about this sale. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I that's why I did my internship after college. No, I didn't know that. Mm. Well, I got my degree in fashion merchandising. And we had to do an internship. I didn't know that either. What did you learn in today? I don't <laughs> think y'all knew that either. My degree is in fashion merchandising. And I had to do an internship, so I got a management internship at Dillard's, and then after my internship, I got hired on, and I was a manager there for about a year or two. Hmm. That's when I learned about that sale. Crazy. Anyway. Yeah. For Next New year. Year's, I want to be here, and I want to go to Times Square because it's on my bucket list. Oh, um, for the ball drop. Heck yeah. Um, I watch that every single year of my whole life. <laughs> Since I can remember. So I want to go there, and I'm hoping that I either have a training that day, or I'd like to get like a trip, and I get in kind of early, and I can make it there. It's on my bucket list. I have to go. It's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. <laughs> well, for me, I think I was originally off January 1st, but then I ended up. I changed my schedule so many times. I thought I wanted to go here, and then I decided I wanted to go here, and then a better trip came up, and then. Then my aunt reminded me of the Dillard sale, so then I had to swap my trips again to find a city that has a Dillard's. So right now on my schedule um, for January 1st, well, New Year's night, I think I have a layover in Salt Lake City, and they have a Dillard's there. And it's like a 20 plus hour layover. So I had time to shop till I drop. <laughs> <laughs> and bring an extra bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely yeah, I went that. to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thanksgiving Day. You did do that. I didn't get to go home, so that's what we decided to do instead. And then I slept all day after that because it was so cold, guys. Was it? It was 30 look degrees. Cold. I could not feel my toes or my fingers. Like, my <laughs> hands were swollen. But it was worth it. <laughs> I spent the day in... Hartford, Connecticut with my aunt. So I actually had Thanksgiving off. I wasn't originally awarded that on my schedule. I was um, on reserve, but I woke up early enough the day that we were able to swap days and I swapped that day for an off day. So I ended up being off. So I vlogged that week. So y'all should have seen that video. I ended up working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, was off Wednesday, like early in the day. Caught a train to Hartford, Connecticut. I was not going to fly. One, because you have to take a connecting flight and it ends up being like five, six hours of flying. And two, I was not trying to non-rev on a holiday like that and being bumped off of flights. So I ended up just taking the um, train from Grand Central Station into Connecticut, which was like two, two and a half hours. Spent the day with family that I had there. And then I was on call Friday morning, and um, I came back. So Thanksgiving was good. Ate some good Jamaican food, spent time with family. It was definitely different. It wasn't home, but I enjoyed myself. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe events. next year I'll do a parade. That kind of seems fun. It was fun. I got, we, there, Neutrogena was handing out um, the light therapy masks. She didn't give me one. Listen, she <laughs> could have told me. I got two. <laughs> They were just had a bunch of wagons handed out, so it was so nice, and I wish I, if I knew about any other giveaway stuff, but it was really cool. We saw Andy How Grammer long did the and Jimmy Fallon person, too. Oh, really? Because they were on the floats. So cool. How long was the actual parade? It was 9 to 12. Oh, three hours. Yeah. And it In started... It started on 77th? And it ended at 34th and Herald, right in front of Macy's, the biggest store in the world. Yeah. We went to that it's Macy's really cool. last week, y'all. So pretty. I bought worth it. Shoes. You Same. know, it was, it was worth it. Like, I've never really been a huge Macy's shopper, simply because I worked at Dillard's and I fell in love with Dillard's. But, um, the store itself is just really, really nice. And then they had the little holiday lane that Serena dragged us to. <laughs> And it was super cute. I fell in love with a stuffed dog that looked just like Denver, but she was $200, so I had to leave her right there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I would go back. There's an aquarium. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, it's in the perfume section. There's an aquarium. There, It's a nine-floor store. 
the they have historical wooden um, escalators. On, like, the oh top yeah, we four went floors. down those. They were kind of scary. Yeah, they're huge. Um, it's just really cool. To check it out. If you've never been, it's worth yeah. it if you're here in New York to visit. You know, I would have to say, even though we're not able to be at home, I think this is a really good city to be in during the holidays because there's so much to see and experience and do. Like, it's New York City. Yeah. It's like one of the best cities in the world, point blank period, you know, argue it. I say I don't like it that much all the time. But it really is a fun city, and if you don't want to be boring, if you want to get out and do things, they always have something going on. Yeah. So even if you are stuck on reserve, or you just can't get the day off, but you don't have enough time to go home, you can find something to do. Like, Times Square is amazing this time of year. Oh, yeah, and then I'm on a five-day block right now, and then I have one day free, and then I'm back on for, like, four days. And so... A few of us are going to go see the Rockefeller light-up ceremony for the giant tree on the 29th. That's when it is. Oh, I'm not going to be nighttime. here. It's at So excited because that tree is huge. And there's an ice rink, so maybe I'll go skating. I'm going to go, but I'm you going home. next time. It's going to be there just in the ceremony. I know, but I want to see it light up. I'll FaceTime you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. I'm done with work after tomorrow. I have another reserve day, one more day, three to one, and then I'm off for the rest of the month. So I'll be home for about a good week. And then I have a trip that starts December 4th. And I know that I have a trip that starts December 4th because I got a line. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just Must so excited nice. about that. It is nice. <laughs> I was telling Serena that she should have applied first class program. So hopefully she'll think about it. Maybe in January. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Yeah. She'll think about it. It's different. It's different. I want to be more comfortable still with all my positions and planes. Yeah. M me, I don't care. Give me that, that schedule. Give me that paycheck. Let me just tell y'all why I decided to go to our first class program. For one, you only do one leg a day. So like I was telling y'all last week, I had that flight that one day with four legs in one day and even though they were express flights I was dog tired like doggity 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 tired so with our first class program we only do one flight a day it's usually a transcon flight not usually it's always a transcon flight New York to San Diego Las Vegas Palm Springs LAX but yeah it's only one leg a day um, you get paid more hours than the actual flight time for that flight. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's nice. You get longer layovers. You you do do more work on the plane because it's a first-class service. So you have to give really, really, really top-notch service. You're serving food on our core flights. We don't serve food. So on the first class, you know, I have to learn how to do all of that, which is fine with me because I have a schedule. Like, and I really, really, really want... A schedule to get my life you know to the way that I'm trying to design it my goal is to just work my real estate from home Houston Texas like Monday through Thursday and then come and fly on the weekends Friday Saturday Sunday and let that just be my schedule I'll probably have to work towards it but this is just one step getting me closer to what I really want to do it's a good plan you like that yeah yeah I want to do that <laughs> so that's pretty much it for our reserve versus line holder holiday schedule um, I hope you all enjoy whatever it is that you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah all Everything of the above else. happy holidays to you all um, yeah Make sure that you subscribe, like, 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 subscribe, like, like, subscribe, and share. Say bye to Serena. Bye, guys. Until next time. Thanks Toodles. for having me.